Today I'm sharing with you my Holy Grail, my Desert Island, my number one favorite skincare product of all time. It's the one product that has done the most for the appearance of my skin. Stay tuned. Before I share that product with you, I want to tell you a true story. And it's true, it happened to me. And it involves a girl that we are going to call Sue. Sue helped me many years ago to understand skincare. Here's the story. I was in my early 50s. I was engaged to a man who, his whole family was out on the West Coast. That's where he was from. And I went out to meet his family. His family consisted of his mother, his five brothers and sisters and their their spouses and their children and a couple of significant others. And we were there for about 10 days. So his mother, his mother, now remember this was at least 20 years ago. It was before YouTube. It was, uh, she probably wasn't concerned in the least about her appearance and that was okay. She would remind you of maybe your grandmother, for some of you probably your mothers. She just was aging the way women aged then or a lot of women still aged then. If it was important to her, you wouldn't have known it. When you looked at her, you didn't doubt that she was his mother. Right off the bat, I met his older brother, and he was about a couple of years older than my fiance. And I got to meet his special friend. They had been dating for many, many years and just had not gotten married. Uh, she was beautiful. I, when I tell you that she was beautiful, she was drop-dead gorgeous. She was one of those women that make you want to put a paper bag over your head. She was just beautiful. We're going to call her Sue. So, Sue was about my size. 20 years ago, I was smaller. She was about my size. She had the cutest figure. She was wearing little tight dresses and spiky heels. She had the cutest curly hair, almost down on her shoulders, but it was just real curly, very flattering, and, and, and she had the most beautiful skin you have ever seen. Her whole body, but especially her face and her neck. We spent quite a bit of time with Sue and his brother. I don't know, about halfway through the visit, she and I were talking and I asked her what she used for skincare. She looked at me sort of funny, really, and she said, well, nothing. I don't use anything. And I said, well, surely you use something. And she said, no, no, I don't. She said, I just, uh, I wash my face every day and that's it. I run five miles every morning. She shared with me that she had been running five miles every day for years. She said, and I come back and I shower, wash my hair, get out of the shower, that's it. I said, you don't, I mean, you don't use a moisturizer. You don't use anything on your face. And she said, no, I have used Cetaphil for many, many years. And that's all I use. I use Cetaphil to wash my face and that's it. Well, you know, 20 years ago we weren't we were starting to really think about sunscreen, but it wasn't the first thing we thought about, protecting your skin from the sun. So she wasn't wearing sunscreen, but her skin was beautiful. I mean, certainly no more lines than I had. I mean, just aging beautifully. Not long after we came back home, my fiance and I, I broke the engagement off and everything was fine. We parted our ways 
about two or three years later, I ran into him. And we were catching up on our families, and I said, well, I asked him, I said, did your brother and Sue get married? And he went, oh, no. And I, I went, oh, I thought maybe they would. They were such a cute couple, and they'd been together for so long. And, and he said, no, no, he said, they broke up. And I went, oh, well, no, why? And he said, well, my mother hated her. She didn't like her at all. And I, I said, well, I guess I don't understand that. I, I mean, I think we're living in a day and age where it's nice if our parents approve of the people we're going to marry, but they don't have to. I said, why? I, I, she was so sweet. I said, why did your mother not like her? And he said, Patty, sh you know. And I said, no, I don't know. And he said, didn't I tell you? <laughs> and I'm going, no. And he said, Patty, she and my mother are the same age. Mother finally won. Now, what I didn't tell you, and I should have when I was telling you when I was describing Sue, is that uh, I did ask her if she had had any work done. I was brave enough to ask her if she had had any a facelift or any procedures done, and she said no, she hadn't had anything done. She didn't want to. That was not her who she was, that she was fine just the way she was. Well, I guess she was if she was in her 70s, which she would have been. She would have been my age. So here's the deal. I truly believe that the way we age, our skin, our hair, our nails, it's all about genetics. I've aged identical to my mother except for the hairstyle and the makeup being a little bit different. I look just like my mother when she was my age. And here's something else that I believe. I believe that with few exceptions, the skincare industry is one of the biggest scams out there self-regulated. Brands can make all the promises and claims they want to make. They're rarely questioned. I think most of us know that the only product that is actually regulated by the FDA is Retin-A or the tretinoids. Um, and the reason for that is because they actually change the structure of your skin. And that's why they're regulated by the FDA, at least here in the United States. And if you've never gone to the uh, website, the FDA website, it might be interesting to go read what they have to say. But they don't regulate peptides and hyaluronic acid and uh, ceramides, glycolic acid, uh, all the buzzwords, they, they don't regulate any of that. Those ingredients do not change the structure of the skin. I saw a Dr. Oz show a few years ago where he talked about all of these uh, special new ingredients. In fact, I did a video on it and, and he really believes and, and at the time with experts he had talked to felt like that some of these uh, things like peptides and ceramides and and the glycolics and the hyaluronics, that they had promise. They really had promise, but we're just not there yet. So the bottom line is promises are made and we buy into them. And I am the biggest sucker of all. I see something, if it looks good, and I think for one minute that it's gonna make me look 10 years younger, listen, I'm buying it. And then guess what? I'm always disappointed. I've learned that we're all different. I've said this so many times, what works for me may not work for you. 
what works for you may not work for me. Our skin is different. Our genetics are different. And I think what I've come to realize is that I have to decide what is important to me. What, am, what do I really want from a skincare product? At 77 years old, what do I really want? Do I want to look 10 years younger? Well, it would be fun. It would certainly be fun. Uh, and yes, listen, if, if there were a product that was guaranteed to make me look 10 or 15 years younger and there was proof of it, I would be all over it. But because I've chosen not to do any kind of fillers or Botox or uh, procedures, facelifts, I haven't done anything. And I, because I've made that decision, for me, I'm going to have to accept the sagging and the wrinkles, fine lines and thick ones. I'm just going to have to accept it. I've decided for me that I want to just have the prettiest skin that I can have for where I am in my life. And I want it to be effortless. I don't want to have to put on 30 products a day. I only want the bare minimum. And like I said, I have bought into so much of it. I have drawers full of skincare products that I would use on one side of my face for three months, religiously. The other side of my face, you've heard me say this before, the other side of my face, I would use whatever I'd been using. I could never see any difference. I didn't look 10 years younger. I didn't look any more lifted on that side of my face. If I couldn't notice it, how could I expect anyone else to notice it? And why am I doing this? So almost a year ago, I had on my good old home shopping network one day, and Dimitri James with Skin Cosmetics was on, and he was showing, presenting a new product. And he didn't really talk about it reducing lines and wrinkles and firming. He spoke more about improving the appearance and he, he talked about luminosity and the pictures, the before and after pictures. And the model, her before picture was just dull, dry looking. And after one application of this product, her skin was luminous. It looked hydrated and it got my attention because that was how my skin was looking. Even when I put on moisturizers and all of these products with all these ingredients, my skin, it, it was either greasy or it was just blah. Like so many times in the past with skincare that I'd seen, I swallowed that hook and I ordered it and it came in. And this is what it is. I've mentioned it before. It's always sold out. Your timing has to be right to get it. It's the Divine Elixir Luminous Skin Oil Manuka Honey Plus C. And this is the bottle. Let's see here. Let me tell you, first of all, that Dimitri James does not have a clue who I am. I've not reviewed this product. It has been reviewed, though, about 300 times and almost every single review is a five star. Women love it. And most of the reviews are from older women. Now, I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on this. I'm not gonna give you all, every single ingredient that's in it, but I have my computer in front of me. And let me tell you how they describe it, or he describes it. A luxurious beauty treatment formulated to moisturize skin for a silky soft feel, comprised of carefully selected, naturally derived botanical oils. This richly hydrating elixir improves visible signs of aging such as dull, dry skin. Yes, it does. 
It's formulated with antioxidants and other key ingredients, provides skin with a healthy glow look. Your skin looks more radiant. It hydrates. It's one of the new modern oils and it hydrates without feeling greasy or heavy. If you are the least bit interested in reading about this before you purchase it, I encourage you to go to the, uh, and I'll leave a, a, a link below so that you can go look at this and read all about it. As I said, it's mainly for uh, the luminosity for your skin and to moisture, help moisturize your skin. There are days when I don't have to use moisturizer. There are days that this is all I use morning and night, and my skin just glows when I have no makeup on. It gives me enough moisture. And I am, when it comes to uh, skin type, I am normal, leaning toward dry. I have a lot of, some days where I, I'm very dry, but I just add a little bit more of this. And I will tell you, it uses a dropper, and it says to use two or three drops. That's way too much for me. I take it, and what I do is I put, I, I don't even drop it out of the dropper. I just touch the dropper, and whatever's there, and I hope you can see that, that is enough to do my whole face. And I warm it up, and then I just press it into my skin all over, under my eyes, over my eyes. I do my neck. Sometimes I need to use just a tiny bit more to get my neck and down on my decollete. This lasts forever. I mean, I guess if you use too much, you would be a grease monkey. But, and that would be the key for this, is not to use too much uh, to be, it, because this will last a long time. If you can get it, they have it on auto delivery. That's what I did, and I'm so glad I did because this bottle, which is one ounce, it looks like it's a lot more than one ounce, but it's not. In fact, the, the two negative comments or reviews were that they thought the bottle was deceiving. It had nothing to do with the product. It was they thought the bottle was deceiving, and it clearly says it's one ounce, but it, it looks like there's more in the bottle than that. When I first purchased this, it was $44. That's the normal HSM price. Not long after that, he presented, it, it may have been a today's special value, and you got two for $60, which made it $30 a piece. And you know, you can set your auto delivery to receive uh, them whenever you want them, basically. You can move the schedule up or you can move it out. So I ordered it, I changed my auto delivery to the get the two for $60. And this, I'm on, I believe I'm on my third bottle of this right now. And I have two in my stash. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. If I had to get rid of every skincare product I own and only use one, it would be this. I'm past the point of thinking that there's a product that's going to take away all of my lines and wrinkles. A product that's gonna lift this, it's not gonna happen. This took years to fall like this. Just a, a skincare product is not gonna do it. I know that many of you have chosen to go the route of fillers and Botox and procedures and listen, I think that's wonderful. I think it's absolutely wonderful. But for for me, again, it's it's just a personal choice that I've decided for me not not to do that. So what am I doing with all of these drawers full of skincare products? Well, some of it I've given away actually to my sister and my granddaughter and my daughter-in-laws. Anybody who comes that I can pawn it off on, they get it. But I still have a lot. And I've decided that I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna, this is, I'm, I will always use this morning and night. But I'm also, uh, when I feel like it, I'll use some neck creams, I may use a face cream, I may use a serum, uh, I may use an eye cream, but I may not. 
Dimitri James has come out with a new divine elixir, and it's different from this. It's an aura Vedic elixir, and it has different essential oils in it. It has prickly pear. Uh, this one has prickly pear, but but it has prickly pear. Where the uh, manuka honey with C is is mainly to moisturize and hydrate and illuminate your skin, make your skin brighter, because we know that's what vitamin C does, the antioxidant. A lot of these oils are antioxidant in here, antioxidants in here with some anti-aging essential oils, but the new product that he's just coming out with right now, the new product is more for anti-aging. It has some of the same, but mostly different oils in it. And again, they're the modern oils that are so quickly absorbed into the skin. You know, oils absorb into your skin easier than water. And his products have no water in them. So I have ordered the new one. And my plan, if I like it, is to use that one at night because it's anti-aging mainly and this one during the day because it's for brightening and illuminating and hydrating. So that's my plan right now. He's also come out with an eye serum in it or an eye oil in it and I've ordered that. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. I'm not sure if I'll keep it. I'll try it. We'll see. This is great around my eyes. I don't think I need it, but I will try it. And if I don't like it, I'll send it back. And I'll let you know about those after I've received them and after I've used them for a while. I'll let you know so you can be on the lookout for that. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you have just found me because the title uh, looked or the thumbnail looked appealing to you and you thought you would click on it and see what my favorite product is, uh, I hope you'll consider subscribing. We are just the neatest channel. We have the neatest group of women, a few men, but the neatest group of women who love to share in the comments. And we would just welcome you with open arms to join the Rockstar Mom family. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell so that you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. Don't forget to go out and be kind today be kind. Make someone's day. Make your own day. You make your day when you're kind. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.